Best budget compound bow. That's right folks, in this video I'm going to talk about the best budget compound bow. I often get asked the question, Sean McVeigh, Sean's Outdoor Adventures, what is the best bow I can get for a couple hundred bucks? And really it's been tough because most of your you know, entry level bows that are halfway decent are about three, four, five hundred dollars. Well, I got contacted by this company here and they said, John, will you test our new the Dragon X8 compound bow? Basic specifications, the axle to axle length, which is the distance from the center of the axle here to the center of the axle pin here is about 30 inches. So it's a, it's a fairly short bow, which is especially helpful for younger people. It's easier for them to, ma to manage and maneuver a bow that's a little bit shorter with an axle to axle. This is a split limb bow. So you actually have essentially four limbs as opposed to a solid limb. And um, it does have a yoke system, which is I think helpful when you have a split limb because each yoke going to the limb itself, each limb, it can help manage that. So you can have what's called cam lean where your cam tilts to the side causing lean and by having a yoke system you can add or remove twist to one yoke and that straightens out the cam and you'll see that more readily in a split limb bow. Split limb bows uh, allow for a larger size cam which sometimes helps with smoothness and different things like that as far as storing energy. The whole thing about a compound bow is that it is storing energy which will give more force to the arrow make the arrow go faster than your traditional long bow or recurve bow. So the inch draw, 70 pounds. Just want to shoot this for you so you can see it. Pretty nice. And it doesn't jump real bad out of your hands. There's been Plenty of bows that I've paid even more money for that when they shoot, they feel like they're jumping out of your hands. At this peak weight setting, you know, it stays right there in your hand. It's really a, a good value. Um, I, I definitely think that just after shooting it a little bit here today, and of course I've only shot a little bit, but it's, it's worked very well. Um, obviously, in the long term, people will... Like if somebody buys one of these and uses it, they'll be able to give a more long-term use review and some feedback on it. But just out of the box, I do think it's good. I would encourage you to... This is the original Genesis bow. The benefit with the original Genesis bow, it's 100% ready to be shot out of the box. The other benefit is it has an unlimited draw length, will fit virtually anybody. The adjustable draw weight will go from 10 to 20 pounds, which makes it very easy for anybody to draw the bow to their size and stature and be able to comfortably shoot and have fun with this bow. The Genesis bow may be designed for youth, but it comes standard with highly machined aluminum parts. The riser, the cam, and the idler wheel, the string and the cable are handmade here at Genesis and 100% hand assembled. All these components used add up to one very durable bow. Thanks for your interest in the PSE Mini Burner. This is a great youth package bow. It comes with everything you need in it just to get someone out shooting who's a, a little guy. So this bow goes from 16 to 26 and a half inches draw length where it range. 40 pounder will go down to four and a half pounds at the lowest draw length setting. A couple other cool features on this cam is we actually have a performance setting and a grow with you setting. I'll go over that in a minute. So as you see, it comes with a rest, quiver, three arrows, stabilizer, and a wrist sling. So let's just get this thing unpackaged. We can kind of show you whatever, everything's in here. On the back, you'll have your user guide and some wrenches. And there'll be a few zip ties here. Pop those off. And we'll pull your car 
that off. Attach to that. So now that you've got your bow out of the package, you can see there's two settings here on the cam. The outside setting is a performance setting and the inside setting is our grow with you setting just to give you a little smoother draw feel. So if someone's really, really new to it, which most young archers will be, you can actually move that cord, that cable from the outside groove to the inside groove to give you a little bit smoother draw. You want to make sure that matches both top and bottom. To adjust draw lengths, there's an Allen screw in here, which you'll find the appropriate Allen head. Here. To adjust your draw length, you'll remove the screw. Then rotate the module to the appropriate letter for the draw length you require. Reinstall your screw. And make sure both top and bottom are on the same letter. In your user guide, you'll find all your draw length and draw weight settings for everything you can do on this bow. It will have performance setting and grow with you settings and the number of turns out uh, corresponding to what draw length and what draw weight each will be. So use that as a reference guide to set your bow up uh, to the appropriate draw length and draw weight. And then the front of this is your warranty. So make sure you fill it out and get your bow registered for the warranty. To attach your quiver bracket, find the quiver bracket in the bag with your other uh, information. Um, and this is going to screw onto the sight in the back position. Putting your quiver on, remove your arrows. Then slide the quiver into the quiver bracket and the back piece locks it down. Then you can reinstall your arrows. So now we're ready. We'll go outside, have some fun, and shoot some arrows. This is a quick overview of the Serene Life compound bow. This model is the 15ST, which comes with the kit. It's got your user manual. Right here, you got your, your compound bow targets that you can use. Just remember, a lot of this is just uh, to get started. So it's beginner equipment. So you got your quiver right here. I'll show you how to attach everything in a minute. These together make up your quiver. Right here, this is your stabilizer. Helps balance the bow. This piece right here is your arrow rest. It holds the arrow so that when you go to shoot, it should fly straight. This right here is your sight. You can adjust these these little things right here so that you have more of a range on how far the shot needs to be. When you draw back on the bow, one of these, depending on the range that you want to shoot at. Cause us some screws and Allen wrenches.
This right here is like a wrist strap. What it does is uh, when you connect to the bow, you'll actually put your wrist through here and it holds the weight of the bow so that you don't have to use as many muscles in your arm to control it. The less muscles you're using while shooting the bow, the less chance of like sway and muscle fatigue. You get a bunch of extra strings they send you. 12 arrows. And there's also the bow itself. And it comes with the uh, wax for the strings too whenever they pray. So as you can see, mostly it's all put together. Gives you, I'll show you how to do the rest in a second. To get started, we're going to put the stabilizer and this on. So first we're going to go around the bow. We're going to make sure the insides are facing in. And you'll notice there's a little hole right here that you'll put the stabilizer in. You just simply turn it and it'll go in. On this part, you feed it through. The next piece we're going to add on is the quiver. So, on the back side of the bow, okay, you will not see the Stream Life logo on this side. You're going to place this in. And then take one of the bolts that does not come with the ring. You'll see it. Pull it in. Flip it over. And get this in the finger tight. Now take the other one, another one of your bolts, and do it to the bottom. I want to make sure that they line up. Again, finger. Okay. Now as a quick test to make sure that they're lined up right. I'm going to take one of the arrows into the hole and make sure it goes in. Make sure when you're putting the arrows in you don't go into there. There's, there's two holes. There's one at the top and there's one it looks like at the bottom. This one's not really a, a hole to put your arrows in. It's only the top four slots. Now with that arrow in, I'll go back to this side and I'll take my Allen wrench and I'll tighten it up. Now you don't want to damage anything, so don't try to like really wrench it in there. Just get it nice and tight. If your fingers can't push it, then you stop. Now we're going to put the sight on it. Make sure again you're on the back side of the bow, which does not have the String Life logo. You're going to be on the back side of this, so the sight part is going to be facing down. And you're going to make sure this is on the outside. You don't want it on the inside towards the arrows. Okay? Now, you'll see two holes here. You're just going to line them up. Uh, I prefer doing slot A over B. So it's a little bit shorter range, but it's more accurate. But you can always adjust based on your own personal needs. Again, just get these in. And just take your Allen wrench. And tighten them up. It's more, I'm going to say it. Don't overly tighten them. You can damage the bolt or strip it even. So just get it tight enough to where your fingers can't tighten it anymore. Don't try to muscle it on. package comes with a little 
LED site for illuminating your site. It's just a simple just twist, turn it on, twist, turn it off. It goes right over here on your site. You just screw it in. And as you can see, it lights up the site to make it easier to see. And just turn to get it off. Okay. And to finish, we're just gonna put the four arrows in to the quiver. Remember, you're not you're not putting the arrows down into the second hole. It's only going to the first hole. Okay, as you can see, they're all perfectly straight. So it's nice and snug all in this area and it's easy to take them out and to put them back in. Now right here on the bow and also on the other end this is how you adjust how much pounds the draw is which will affect how hard it is to pull it and how powerful the shot is to affect the length you take these out and then you adjust. There's a chart that tells you what each one measures out to. So to figure out the, the draw length that you need, you measure from your two fingertips with your arms straight out, like you're making a T with your body. And then you divide that number by 2.5. And that'll give you an estimate of what your draw length needs to be. Then you go to the manual and gives you a chart that tells you what number to adjust these to to go to your draw length. Okay, when knocking the arrow, make sure that the one odd color is at the top. You take this and you put it right into your little D-loop. For any further instructions, please refer to the user manual.